All right. Well, welcome everyone. I'm going to go ahead and share the screen. Hi, happy hackathon day. <laughs> we are so excited to be here and we're so thankful that so many folks have joined us here um, at our first ever virtual hackathon. Um, hopefully everyone can see the slide okay. Um, we are, um, my name is Katie Franco. I'm the executive director of Girl Develop It. Um, and with me today, I have Brenda Jin, who is a board member and longtime volunteer instructor and leader here at um, GDI, as well as Katie Bryden, who handles a lot of our classes and is our community director here at GDI. We're gonna do some quick housekeeping, welcome, talk a little about the hackathon, um, and then uh, we will kick it over and start some of our presentations as well as start getting some folks settled. So let's get into it. Um, if I can move these slides. Um, again, just real welcome to GDI. We're so happy you're all here. Um, we've been so excited with the folks who've been engaging with us. And if you haven't had a chance and this is your first engagement with this our event, welcome. We're happy you're here. Um, but real quick, if you don't know us, this is your first time touching GDI. We are a nonprofit organization. We were founded about 11 years ago in New York City by two technologists who kept saying, gosh, why is there not a lot of inclusiveness at these events we're attending? And uh, let's do something about that. Let's start doing events focusing really on women and non-binary adults. Um, so we've been doing that for over 10 years. Um, now we're all virtual. We've been hosting virtual classes, events, and um, labs and other activities. And uh, just really, again, happy to offer these kind of accessible opp opportunities in a year or so that's been really hard to connect with folks. Um, I told a little bit about our stories, but I think these are the three things that we say all the time that we reject stereotypes, that there's only certain people or certain skill sets um, that get folks into tech. Um, we really focus on removing barriers for entry. So having a virtual hackathon allows folks to take a couple hours during their day while they're working and jump in, um, stop when their families come home from school or they need to take attention to other things. So really, these are the kind of events, the things that we do. We try to work around schedules. We try to be flexible. We record a lot of our programs, offer it back so people can take it when they can. Um, and then we really try to, to incorporate, um, and you're going to meet so many amazing technologists who have stories just like yours, who came from, you know, just one day decided to learn tech and now have built amazing careers as software engineers um, all over the country. So definitely, uh, you know, ask questions, get to know folks, but we really want to kind of continue to promote and get you to connect it with that community that's out there. So a little bit just kind of what we do as an organization, we're in this weird virtual space. Um, so this past year we offered over 150 classes and events. So events like this one, we had events about focusing on how to you know, launch your career in gaming or events where we talk to different employers. So lots of different kinds of events. We do offer a lot of live instruction. So the big thing for us is that you get to ask questions. So we offer a lot of live classes where we have instructors who can take their time with you, work with you, um, really help you learn and answer your questions. We are starting to offer some hybrid classes that gives you a little bit of that learn on your pace, on pace with some asynchronous video learning, but then also provides a lab or some time to come with those questions and make sure that you're getting them answered. Um, and we're also going to start offering some independent study courses, which is, you know, you work on a project with a person or a tutor or a mentor. And then events like this. We love these events. We love bringing our community together. And um, we're going we're gonna to keep doing a lot of these virtual events. Um, just a couple of sample classes. We have one coming up in, at the end of this month, Practical Introduction to Visual UI. These are the kinds of classes we do. We offer a lot of career conversations, you know, how to find a mentor. We had a really, really great with the speaker who we are speaking tomorrow, Nicole Calhoun, leadership series, where we really focused on folks thinking through what their career pivot was going to look like and how they're going to prepare themselves for it. And then just some amazing technical classes. We did this year, um, we did a couple of Python cohorts, which are longer series of classes where we really got into it um, and taught Python from, you know, you know nothing to all of a sudden you're, you're fully coding in, uh, in three weeks. So we've, we've had a lot of fun with that and we have a lot of great classes coming up for next year. But just wanted to give you a sense of sort of what we do teach. Um, you know, here at GDI, we really strive to keep our classes, again, remove those barriers of entry, keeping them accessible. So, you know, we have um, a lot of free events, like events like this one that are free. We do a lot of free trial classes, usually about once a month is our goal to have at least a, a class. You can come in and just try. Do you want to learn UX? Do you want to make an investment of time? 
Um, and then we have a lot of pay as you go classes where you can just choose a class. You don't need to commit to six weeks of courses. You can just come and take a class. You want to skill up in Python or ES6, come and jump in and take a class. And we keep those really low. We usually charge about $20 per hour per instruction hour. Um, and that pays for our instructor's time. Um, and then this year we launched, and we're going to continue this, um, a membership program where you could pay $40 a month all year and you get unlimited classes. So well, however many classes you want to take, um, you can. You can um, take them, get the recordings. Um, but this has been a really popular program for us that we're going to build upon. And we're adding a couple more elements to it, including some coding labs and some more career-focused development. Um, and then this year, we're also adding a personalized membership. We've had a lot of response from folks looking for a little bit more one-to-one -one support. So some coaching, whether for career development or through a technical skill. Um, and that's going to be $60 um, a month. And that will be, again, we're rolling it out in 2022. But these are the ways you can kind of get involved in this. Again, membership looks very different to everybody. We have a lot of free options and opportunities that just come in and try a course all the way up to a really personalized learning program. So um, I think Katie is going to, Bryden is going to drop the link to our memberships in the Slack if you want to learn more. And then just, you know, we have so many amazing partners and we're going to talk a lot about our sponsors and partners um, as we go on these next couple of days. But Silicon Valley Bank is doing an amazing program with us um, where they are matching all the gifts to GDI through their platform three to one. Again, if you ever, you love these classes, you want to see more of them, support us. Um, we'd love, you know, even a small donation goes a long way right now, um, thanks to Silicon Valley Bank. So we definitely wanted to share that link with you all. And then again, to one of our partners, you know, we are partnered with the Grace Hopper Full Stack Academy program this semester, and they are actually offering a full scholarship, which is a value of um, $17,000 um, to a GDI member. So we have our we have this on our website, um, so feel free to go ahead and apply. We did want to highlight this because the deadline is tomorrow. Mm -hmm. So if you've ever thought about um, getting into Grace Hopper or doing a full boot camp, definitely check it out. Um, and if you don't get awarded the full scholarship, they are also offering two thousand dollars discounts to any GDI person who comes through the links. So the links will be shared again in the chat. Feel free to um, check that out. And if that's something you're interested in, we'd love you to give them a credit. It's great. It's an amazing program. It's focused on women and non-binary adults. So definitely um, give that a, shout, a try. Okay. So let's talk a little bit about our event. That was some of our housekeeping. Um, again, super happy we're here. Um, wanted to talk big picture our event goals for the next three days. Um, you know, really our goals here are that you are going to meet new people and you're going to build some community around yourself and your own learning and journey. This is super important and it's something that here at GDI we pride ourselves on. Um, you know, doing this alone is hard. Doing it with friends is fun and easy and it's a really great way to learn. Um, so definitely, you know, one of our goals here is that as you're building teams and getting to know folks, you're really getting to know um, friend, making new friends and making new contacts in the space. So definitely don't be shy. Um, our Slack channel is full of amazing people and conversations. Jump in, share, um, lean into that. Um, our other goal is that you're going to learn and you're going to level up your skills. Um, this is important. You know, we all are at some place. Wherever that is, we're there. Whether you've taken one course on Udemy or you've just finished, you know, your third boot camp, wherever you are on the learning journey, we're glad you're here. And we really want to help you take that next step, whatever that looks like. You may just add one line of code to a program or a little bit of UX design, or you might be doing a, like a whole much more. But whatever that is, we're just happy you're here and we're really happy that you're going to try to take the next level. And we're going to push you a little bit and help you get there. Um, we also have fun. This is a fun event. We've been having a great time on the pre-events. The Slack is fun. Um, we really want you to enjoy this. This is good work and it's fun and you should be laughing and giggling and smiling to yourself. So we're definitely going to um, have some fun here. And then the biggest rule at GDI at any of our events is ask your questions. We do not want you to hang up or walk away from this event and go, gosh, I still just don't know what they're talking about. Whether it's a speaker, you're not sure what the acronym they said was, or it's a someone is to give you some instruction on how to do the install and you're not quite sure, please ask. We are here to help. Um, we'll talk more about how we can provide some support in Slack and through other ways during this event, but we are here to help you. And then ultimately, we're really hoping that you're going to have a project in your portfolio. You know, we talk with so many employers who are looking for amazing talent. And the biggest thing that they're looking for is they want to see a project. They want to see something that you've done and have show your work. Um, so being able to put a project into GitHub or add something to your portfolio is huge. And we're hoping that through this event, you're going to have something with your name on it that you can turn and use for whatever your dreams are and your next steps are. 
And again, just a shout out to our sponsors. We have some amazing folks who have helped us put this event again together. Granger, um, Bevy, who's the platform we're using today is the Bevy conference platform. It's really amazing. And that team has been great and gave it to us at a heavily discounted. And they'll be here on Friday on the employer panel. They're doing a ton of hiring. Um, Linode, um, Medallion Bank, Code Academy, and Drizzly are just amazing partners. And it, we're really thankful um, for all of their support. Sorry. Um, and then also we have some amazing community partners. These folks have dedicated time in speaking. Um, our first panel today is um, two amazing technologists from Nextivia. Um, we giving our their time to our community to help us grow is amazing, and we're very thankful to all of them. And then you know our event is you know we have a lot of great time to do the hacking, to build, to work on your projects. But also, if you're interested, we have some great panels and conversations. Um, just real quick after this, we have a great conversation um, about working in AI as a woman. Um, we also have um, a great converse panel about careers and people who are going to share some of their career paths. So definitely stick around this main stage for those two. And then we're going to break off and we have a couple of different workshops. There's one on UX that's not listed on the screen. And then there's also this predict code snippet with machine learning. So some really great technical conversations that start around 1.30 after the stage. So definitely feel free to chime in. We'll share this every day and you can also customize your agenda on the system. So feel free to explore, check in, um, or just focus on your team. Whatever you're up to, we want you to do with us. Um, again, this is a little bit more about today. This includes that UX um, panel at 1.30, which is great. Okay. I am so excited to introduce Brenda Jin. If you have not met her yet in our pre-events, um, we're really excited to introduce you to her. Again, she is a wonderful um, GDI board member, um, technologist in her own right, software engineer. And I'll let her introduce herself and talk a little bit more about the hackathon rules for this event. Hi, everyone. Uh, it's great to see many familiar faces and many more. We've got over 400 people signed up for the hackathon. So we're really excited to be hosting such a big and lively event. A uh, little bit about me, I uh, learned to code with the help of GDI back in 2013 and then became a software engineer at Macy's.com and then Slack. Um, so worked on some of the, the features that we'll be using in the Slack community. And um, I also had a uh, software startup recently. So um, it, it's been very exciting to get my hands into code, into software, and it all started actually with a hackathon or I'd been learning to code on my own, but then at the hackathon, I first function in action, and that just unlocked a whole world for me. So I'm really excited that we're doing this with GEI. I'm so excited that you're all here. Um, and I'll talk a little bit about our, our hackathon. So we have some rules. We take our code of conduct very seriously. You can read about it at girldevelopit.com slash code of conduct. Uh, it's very important to us that every single participant within our community and our events feels that we are providing a warm and welcoming environment. So everybody contributes to this through our behavior towards each other. And if, if in any case, you do not feel uh, welcome or included at this event, please reach out to myself or Katie or any member of the board of directors and let us know so that we can make it right. Um, so we take it very seriously. We want this to be a very warm and welcoming environment. And that's how we can create the best educational experience here. Another hackathon rule is give context. So this is a virtual hackathon, which is very exciting. Um, it can be hard to explain where you're at with something um, or share ideas because we can't be in the same room together. So whenever you can give as much context as possible, if you're explaining an idea or asking a question, we'll always ask you for things like error logs or what website you used or what instructions you were finding or how you got to where you are. Um, so the more information you can provide, the better. And then as Katie said before, make sure you ask questions. If you're not sure what somebody means, ask. This is a, a great place to get your questions answered. It's a safe place to ask questions without judgment. And I really hope that um, you take the opportunity to practice that during the course of the hackathon. Uh, another rule is to listen carefully and actively, especially when working with your team uh, and uh, when talking about ideas. I heard a really great uh uh, saying one time at my very first hackathon, it was questions are the currency of collaboration. So listening and asking questions go together. So, uh, and the final rule, very important, appreciate if somebody helps you out or makes your experience awesome. 
uh, go ahead and let them know. And this also applies to yourself. So if you have done something cool, if you've learned something new, if you have gone out on a limb and asked a question and taken a risk, give yourself a pat on the back. All right, so we have a virtual platform here and we've already had some questions in the chat about it. So I'll just give you a quick overview. Our live virtual event is here on Bevy. And if you look in the top tab, you'll see networking. So we have mentors in the Slack desk from nine to nine Eastern time. So if you want to find a mentor to talk through something, go ahead over to the networking tab and go to the help desk. We also have a, a team, well, we also have a help desk on Slack. That's a channel called Virtual Hackathon Help Desk that you should have all been invited to. So the mentors will be there as well. Every team will have their own Slack channel where you can, some teams are using that for video conferencing as well to start a huddle. So if you need to break out with just your team, you can go there. Every team will also have their own Bevy conferencing room in the network tab um, alongside the help, de help desk. Projects need to be ready to present by Friday, and we want to encourage you all to try your best to present a code demo on Friday. So we've gotten some questions about this. Can I present just a pitch deck? We really want you to present a code demo. We also got a question about, can we use a no-code platform? Uh, you can use a no-code platform, but we really want to encourage you to try to build something together with code. I think there's very few there's, there aren't there aren't a lot of opportunities to get the level of support that you're going to get at this hackathon out in the world. And this is a great opportunity to stretch yourself and learn. So if you can dedicate time to working on a team and building something with code, no matter how small your contribution, we really want you to have that opportunity at this hackathon. And in terms of no code, you could probably do that uh, on your own uh, at another time. But I really want you to stretch yourselves, take some risks, try to code and um, use all of the resources that we've gathered for you at this hackathon. And we really wanna see you on Friday the 12th with your team presenting. All right, so we're gonna have some prizes. There'll be top prizes first, second, third. The judging criteria are code. Did the team demo software? So we really want you to code for this hackathon. Creativity, how creative is the solution? And also we will give, be giving a newbie score. So we really want to see newbie coders participating in this hackathon. Additionally, judges have the opportunity to add awards, and this is per their discretion. So uh, some examples might be best data visualization, best mobile app, best web experience. It's really up to the judges. So uh, I can't tell you right now what it's going to be, but I'm hoping they're really inspired by the projects that you demo on Friday. And uh, we also have prizes provided by T-Mobile and Medallion Bank. Thank you so much to T-Mobile and Medallion Bank. And what's very exciting is that every single person whose team presents on Friday will receive a award that they can post on LinkedIn and social media. So Katie, do you have uh, any other comments for this one? I mean, I think uh, we're also looking that I think everyone who does participate, we're going to be giving you a, some other discounts and some special opportunities. Um, so stay tuned for that. We'll send more. But this is a sample of one of our badges that everyone will be getting as well as certificates just for showing up and doing the work. So we got a question in the chat. Are we supposed to already have a team? We did have some pre-hackathon events to help you get started, but many people still don't have a team. So if you don't have a team, Go over to the networking tab after this to the help desk and try to find a team with folks who are there or pop into the Slack under the virtual hackathon uh, 2021 channel and folks are forming teams and introducing themselves there. Perfect timing for that question. Yeah, we, we are. Oh, yes, that was the next slide. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Yeah, so we're going to help you find a team. Do not worry. We are happy you're here. You're no one is late. Um, no one's late. Yes. Okay, so one more reminder about uh, where we all are on virtual. So we have um, some help and support. We've got the Virtual Hackathon 2021. That's general information and discussion. And that's where a lot of the team forming has been hacking, happening. Happening. <laughs> uh, we also have a help desk called Virtual Hackathon Help Desk. That's where the mentors are hanging out and waiting to help you. We also have a video conferencing help desk under the networking tab in Bevy. 
And just as a reminder, your team will have a workspace. Your team will have a table in networking if you would like to use video conferencing there. You will, your team will also have a channel in Slack once it's formed. So once you have a team, ping me and I will get you and your team members set up uh, in Slack and on Bevy. And uh, once you're in Slack too, some of the teams are using the Slack huddles feature for video conferencing there. So lots of options for collaboration. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> cool. yes. Yeah, thank you, Brenda. Thank you so much. Um, so let's go, we can go ahead and get started. Folks can meet up with teams at the help desk. Um, we are going to go um, pause and go dark for about uh, three minutes where we reset the stage and get our first talk out. Um, so give us a couple minutes here and we'll be right back. And in the meantime, feel free to start looking at the agenda. Again, if you look at the top of your screen, you'll see lobby, agenda, stage, and networking. And within the agenda, you can see some of the sessions and other workshops. Um, definitely go check out your tables. If you already have a team, you'll have a table preset. Um, and let me know. All right. So, um, we're going to go ahead and go dark and then we'll come back at it. Give a second. See you soon. <laughs> 